This is the second tutorial in the series on Rourke's formulas in TK Solver, the product that we call Interactive Rourke's Formulas. This session will introduce you to the online documentation that's available, as well as the uh, web page here with forum. And finally, we'll cover the superposition and data entry wizard for the Rourke's Formulas application. The documentation for this can be found on your computer. Uh, you go to the UTS folder, Interactive Rourke's Formulas, and you will see a, form, uh, a folder there called Online Docs. In there is a PDF file called Rourke's Formulas User's Guide. When you launch that, you'll get the PDF file. It'll launch in an Adobe Reader. And there are uh, introductory pages, as well as tutorials, quick tutorials on uh, the basics, followed by practice problems from each of the tables. So I would invite you to follow up uh, these tutorials by checking out that PDF file and running through some examples in the areas that you would work in most often. To launch the data entry and superposition wizard, click the wizards menu within TK Solver. Rourke's formula is superposition. And you're given the choice of working with the beam data entry and superposition and the plate data entry and superposition. Clicking on the beam, we see that there are various beam types. Depending on how the uh, beam will be configured in that way. Support conditions and load conditions. There's also pull down for materials that are available. You can also override that by choosing custom. And then you are allowed to enter your own value for whatever uh, properties are needed for that case. We'll begin by saying that this beam is an elastic straight beam fixed on both ends. The first load that we put on it will be a concentrated intermediate load. We'll say that the beam is 48 inches long. It asks for a moment of inertia and a section modulus. Uh, if you know those, you can input them. Or you could click on this button here to load a particular cross section. So if we say that the beam is rectangular with neutral axis 1, side B is 1, side D is 2. Again, following the nomenclature here of the diagram. The calculations are then done in TK Solver and fed to this form. Concentrated. Intermediate load will be 18 inches from the left end, and the load will be 600 pounds. This is load number one. We solve for load condition. The formulas are loaded. TK Solver does the calculations. And this table at the bottom provides us results for the current load condition. So we could scroll down the table and for different uh, distances from the left end, which is variable x, we see there are different deflections, shear, moment, slope, and stress values. We can switch to the TK solver. We can actually then view plots. 
for that particular load case. We can return to the wizard, indicate that we have a second load. When we do that, notice that many of the items gray out. Those items can't be changed. For example, the beam is still fixed at both ends. It's still made from the same material, still has the same length and area moment of inertia. Now we're going to supply a second load. We'll say that we'll have a partially distributed load. It's going to start in the middle of the beam. At the left end, it's, it's actually going to be pushing up. So we'll say negative 35 pounds per inch, increasing to negative 50 pounds per inch by the right end. And we solve for load condition. That case is now loaded. The calculations are done. Solution is provided in this table. As before, we can check the calculations in the TK Solver model, viewing any plots that we're interested in. We could repeat that process for as many loads as we want to put on this beam. When we're finished, we click Show Combined Results. The TK Solver model now combines the results and at any particular location along the beam, value X, we see the results. Notice that at the top of the variable sheet, the different loads are summarized. Here's a plot of the stress. The shear diagram. The deflection. And at this point, you could uh, build a report by copying and pasting uh, these objects into Word. For more details on that, uh, see the TK Solver tutorial video on report writing. That ends this video tutorial.